Hey guys, Road Warrior back here. I'm continuing on with my lure series here on my channel. Now I'm covering spinners. Uh, that'll be bullet spinners. I will also cover bladed spinners or bass spinners. In this case, we're looking at the bullet spinners. <clears throat> Again, amongst the community, I think a lot of people would agree the rainbow spinner is really good. Uh, it's only three bait coins. There's several through here that you can look. You know, Pay attention to your hook size, casting weight, uh, that sort of thing. Um, now, as well as uh, the cool part is these rainbow spinners, uh, the 3 0 is actually this game cache, as well as the 6 0, um, you know, our game cache. So, kind of look through here. A lot of these are fairly cheap, in my opinion. Um, just kind of depends on what you're going for. Moving on, uh, we will go on to the actual spinner, spinner baits and buzz baits. Also, Again, I've mentioned this before in my top water video, but the buzz baits themselves are kind of uh, hybrid, so to speak. You can use them as a bass jig, uh, you know, spinner on top of the water, all kinds of stuff. Uh, in this game, they kind of just, most people I would say use these kind of as a jig or a bass jig, and they just couple something together or pair. I'll show you that in a little bit. And again, looking at all these, uh, I haven't really seen too much of a difference between the white, blue, and the yellow. Uh, just kind of personal preference there as well, but... Uh, just to kind of show you guys how to pair these up in the event that you didn't know how. Also here in the shop, uh, you're going to want to look at the uh, spinner tails in the event that uh, you wanted to pair something up. Again, uh, the Baitcoin ones, I haven't seen that much difference. I do not have the X3 spinner tail. I heard it uh, is magnificent. I've not yet to win that in a competition, but nonetheless, something to strive for or aim for. So Again, just kind of showing you guys how to pair these up in the event that you did not know how to. Simply go, once you've equipped your spinner uh, your spinner bait here, you can go color code it if you want. Uh, the cool thing about these spinners uh, is you can actually go up here if you wanted to put a bass worm on there with it. Uh, just anything, any plastic thing that you wanted on there. Uh, just kind of, you know, use your imagination, let it go run wild. I usually try to color code things. Uh, also... Uh, again, just personal preference. Same thing here. Now the spinner, the bullet spinners themselves, you can only put tails on them, so you can run them with or without. Entirely up to you. But just kind of showing you that option there. Uh, again, also these things here. Uh, normally, I do not usually put a spinner tail on these, uh, but you might want to. It's all entirely up to you. Uh, I, most of the time, you'll see people, uh, you know, they'll put on a worm, whatever you really want. Uh, it depends on what you're targeting, what you're trying to isolate out, that sort of thing. Uh, again, a really popular thing here is that's a definitely an OP, so to speak, uh, pairing right there, overpowered being uh, the buzz bait with the glow crawl. On uh, upcoming clips, I will show you uh, things in action and a few tips. As always, stay tuned. Okay, guys, starting here with a bullet spinner. This here is a ladybug spinner. I can't remember exactly where I got it. I'll use some generic spinners as well, but this is one that you pick up early in the game. Forgive me for not remembering, but this is a great lure here. Uh, just kind of going to show you different options. One thing I wanted to point out, too, if you ever want to use straight retrieve, uh, note in this clip right here, I start with a stop and go, and I'm going to go to straight. One key thing, too, just kind of like knowing your reels and rods, uh, this is actually a bremer on a jig winner. As you can see, I still get a fish there. However, uh, to keep that low in the water, uh, I'll show you kind of an upcoming clip. Also, strategy-wise here, you might want to, you know, start with a 1-0. I'll show you this at multiple lakes. Uh, you know, maybe go for some trophies and some smaller fish here to start. Again, this is just me doing a twitch here at the bottom. Uh, sky twitch, auto twitching, however you want to phrase it. Uh, nonetheless, I'm just kind of showing you a cycle through here. Kind of strategy-wise, sometimes you might want to, uh, you know, start with a 1-0, get some of the fish out of the way, and then go to a 3-0. Uh, that's another good tip, uh, you know, no matter what you're kind of doing, especially in regards to farming. Uh, and I'll see as there, I picked up the uh, uh, the unique not too long afterwards here, the marble. Uh, also, you'll notice the bremer is not much of a, as much of a fight. Uh, now, what I'm, my keynote again, uh, you know, I say that a lot. However, uh, now I'm going to put the spiral reel on, and this is what I got on now. This is what I kind of wanted to show you here. Also, you know, I'm walking that down, just lightly twitching. When I get to the bottom, I'm going to show you the difference because now i got an Inspirial reel on here. It's going to be a lot slower of recovery in the event that you're wanting to do a straight uh, a retrieve for a spinner. Otherwise, it's just going to go all the way to the top. Also, see what I'm doing here is I'm moving my rod back and forth, left and right, uh, just to control the depth. I know about where the depth that they are. They're going to be in that lower one-third. So as you can see here, uh, just to kind of keep the lure where I want it, I'm using a slower recovery reel. 
and I'll show you here in a second, but this kind of, I wanted to kind of guide you along on this so it makes sense. So I'm doing a straight retrieve there. You can still get these on a straight retrieve if you're wanting to do a slow roll spinner. Uh, you know, if you're not wanting to do a scop and go or a twitch, as you can see there, uh, hooked in the hem. Now also, uh, the risk reward here is this fish could potentially spit the hook on you because you don't have the uh, real speed needed if he runs at you. With, with that being said, you'll notice here, I'm just kind of showing this. Uh, be ready to throw your rod to the left or the right in the event that he's running at you, and that's what I'm just demonstrating there. And the event he takes off, uh, be ready to, uh, you know, go to the right or the left and reel as fast as you can. Again, the uh, the catch-22 is you can keep it in the strike zone and be able to get a straight retrieve if you're wanting to do a slow roll with a spinner versus twitching or stop and go. I wanted to make sure that I made that clear as possible. There's a nice, unique marble. I'm just kind of showing what I'm talking about there. That's basically just the uh, skin version of that reel right there, 27.5, uh, where the Bremer was 35. Now, again, over here at Falcon, doing the same thing with the... Uh, the smaller rainbow spinner here, the 1.0. Uh, once I've caught a trophy or two, uh, you can see what I'm doing here. I just caught two trophies off the uh, one trophy off the 1.0. Uh, now I've got the 3.0 on. Now you know I'm going for the unique here. You might use that same rule of thumb. Maybe you get a couple of the fish out of the way first with your 1.0s, then go up to 3.0s in the event that you want to do a spinner again. I'm trying to teach as I go here. So uh, now going on, sticking with the bullet spinner. Now we are heading to again the retrieves. If you guys watch my spoon videos same kind of a thing uh, you know whether you want to do a stop and go twitch uh, anything like that uh, that that's what you might want to consider uh, again personal preference i've noticed they'll hit stop and go twitch straight it doesn't really matter but it does kind of help in the event that you're not getting a bite again don't uh, hesitate to alter retrieves uh, you know maybe uh, you're not getting a bite on twitch maybe you go to stop and go uh, if you, neither one of them is working, try a, a slow, uh, just a slow roll spinner, so to speak. Uh, it's nice, unique there off of a bullet uh, sinker, or bullet spinner, excuse me, uh, 1.0, or 1 ounce 4.0. Uh, now here's a cool little pairing, as we talked about before. This is a actually a blade spinner with a bony shad. Picked up an Arapaima. You can get Trophy Arapaima with a 4.0, but you will not get a unique. This is a dual spot that I put up on my channel. Feel free to look on any of my guides for Arapaima, that sort of thing. This one actually shares uh, with the uh, Triera as well. Now that I've caught that and I got the Arapaima, I went ahead and paired the same uh, X-Series spinner bait with a Glow Shad. In the event that you didn't have any of those power lures, and uh, again, nice results here. A nice 76 pound unique triura. Okay, and then also uh, going back here, and this is just a generic lure here. We're at Quanskin going for some largemouth bass. As you can see, this is just a generic spinnerbait 4 0 yellow with just a 4 inch yellow bass worm. Again, as I've mentioned in previous videos, once you've realized that, you know, whether they're in the midwater, that lower one third, that sort of thing, the majority of the time you can go from spot to spot and they'll kind of be in that same area. But another uh, nice, unique bass here. Again, just off a of generic lure. Also, when you're going on to the next spot again, you're just looking at the same thing. Just that similar spot. But I just wanted to show you this lure. This is a really good combo in the event you don't have the rattlesnake worm or the X-series spinnerbait. This will work extremely well on bass. It doesn't even really mean to matter the peak. Uh, it's just kind of matching up the uh, pairing, so to speak. Uh, again, just on to my third spot here. And this was all in the same net, mind you. Uh, but I'm just kind of showing you as you rotate around here. Uh, this is definitely a uh, spinner bait. I recommend the yellow one. Uh, the white one will work too, like I said. But the, uh, for whatever reason, the yellow one with the uh, this yellow four-inch worm seems to work really well for me. Uh, again, I'm just going to show you real here, real quick, uh, that this is just a generic uh, four-inch. And I do have the rattlesnake worm, the X-series bass worm, that sort of thing. But that's just a generic uh, yellow worm there. Okay, now moving on here to beautiful blue crab island just wanted to show you something else too uh the buzz baits like i said i've you've heard me talk about these before uh a lot of times they'll work on the top of the water nonetheless stop and go twitch just below the surface so i'm actually kind of using them as a spinner here or a bass jig in my opinion 
in the event that you don't have the X-Series nymphs or something like that, I wanted to show you another one. This is just a generic uh, nymphs on there with a black buzz bait, working it below the surface, stop and go here on this first fish. Uh, ends up being a really nice, uh, unique permit. Again, also, uh, just moving on here to the next. Um, now I'm going to target, uh, now that that's out of the way, hopefully we can get a couple tarpon. Uh, again, this, this, just a generic buzz bait with, again, the glow shad. Just showing you that in the event that you don't have the uh, Salute Nymphs, the X-Series Nymphs, any of those things, that these do actually will work here. Just a glow shad uh, with the uh, white buzz bait. Again, in between fish, sometimes you might notice uh, if you got the trophy, uh, you struggle to get the uni. I'm going to go ahead and put on the actual, instead of having the X-Series glow crawl, this is just the 6-inch glow crawl that you can get in the shop. I just wanted to prove to you that this will work in the event that you don't have those lures. Also, if you're unfamiliar with blue crab and tarpon, make sure that you're extremely careful. Uh, keep that rod tip up. Sometimes you can see what I'm doing there. I'm keeping my trolling motor in the opposite direction. I'll, I have had them get off on low tension over here. For whatever reason, they'd love to pull you over here to this barge and spit the hook on you. So be extremely careful if you do hook into one of these. Uh, watch what you're doing to save a little bit of time here on this video. Uh, I fast forward a little bit here, but I just kind of wanted to show you. Be careful when you get over in this area. Make sure you keep that rod tip up once they start running at you. Use that trolling motor to keep a little tension on the uh, fish itself. But there's a nice 125-pound unique tarpon on a generic buzz bait uh, with just a glow crawl right out of the shop. That's the white one, too. In the event that uh, you were struggling, didn't have the bait coins, that sort of thing. So take care, and there's a review of the net real quick. Hope this helps you guys out, and I will carry on the lure series with some upcoming videos as well. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time.